Well, hey guys, it is midday and I'm just reapplying my Nivea Protect Water Gel Super SPF 50 plus, plus, plus my Japanese chemical sunscreen. Um, <laughs> hopefully you're reapplying too. Um, so for fun today, you guys seem to really enjoy a lot of my cooking videos and recipes and you're always asking me if I can share more of them and I really wanna share more of my uh, kind of recipes and, and meals and snacks and things that I make with you guys. Um, and so today's video I thought I would share with you guys um, kind of an updated version of my veggie burger recipe that I've been crafting and perfecting. So I'm excited to share it with you. Um, if you missed my last veggie burger recipe, check it out. Um, it's a good one, but this one is super easy and I actually made it into little balls, um, but <laughs> aren't they delicious looking? Check out the seedage on this. These are savory carrot turmeric balls, guys. Um, so delicious. So I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. First up, I'm gonna put on my Ikea apron here. This is also good for eating. Duels of the bib. All right, the rate limiting step for me is gonna be grating up carrots. So for this recipe, you're gonna use two and a half whole carrots. I don't peel mine. If you want to peel, peel. Do whatever appeals to you. Do whatever appeals to you. Um, but that is what I'm gonna do here on this box grater. So vegan eating isn't always cruelty free. Now I like to lay down a clean tea towel on my countertop before I start doing this because as I'm grating, carrots are flying all over the place, and I find that it makes it easier for cleanup to just be able to uh, sweep those little whisk -a doodles into my bowl rather than wipe them off my countertop. So that is an approach that I enjoy doing. Now you certainly could buy pre-grated carrots if you don't want to exhaust yourself. And ugh, let me reinforce with my biggie size here of this demo. All right, so I've got two and a half cups of shredded carrots here. You could do this in advance. Um, I'm just gonna have them here to throw on into the recipe. All right, next step, I have one cup of rolled oats. You could use gluten-free if that's your need. Um, you could use organic if that's your calling. Um, but these are like 10 cents. One cup of rolled oats into my Ninja Blender. I'm going to make essentially oat flour by pulsing this in my Ninja Blender. You could do this with a food processor or I think even just a regular blender, although I've never tried it that way. Um, you could also purchase oat flour to have it ground for you. It's a significant upcharge, so. There's that. Um, you could use alternative flours in this recipe if you would like. I have not tried any others, um, but um, you could use almond flour, coconut flour, uh, regular flour, panko crumbs, just some sort of a some sort of a substance in there. Possibilities are endless. Insert carb of choice. But I use my ninja. This is my ninja. Um, I'll list him down below. I use him like 10 times a day. There, there isn't a meal that I ingest that my ninja does not contribute to. I mean, honestly, this is almost like my partner in life. Ninja love. All right, so these are all of the ingredients for this recipe. Um, First up are the dry ingredients. I have in my little baby Ninja Blender bottle here, one cup of oat flour made from one cup of rolled oats. I have two tablespoons of flaxseed meal. Um, and then for my uh, wet ingredients, I'm going to be using the two and a half grated carrots that I have here and three and a half cups of cooked black beans. You could actually use any legume that your little heart desires or pulse like a lentil for example. Um, this is the equivalent of one 15 ounce can of black beans 
drained um, and rinsed and uh, allowed to uh, pat dry to get all the water off with just a tea towel um, or the equivalent of three and a half servings of black beans cooked from dry, which that is what this is, but you could use canned. Alrighty, and then for the liquid ingredients, we have, I'm gonna be using one teaspoon of liquid aminos and this is my cheat ingredient here for the uh, wet ingredients. This is <laughs> baby food. Um, it is essentially, as it says on the label, just carrots. I got this at my grocery store because I had a coupon and it was really, really cheap and this is convenient as stink. You could use pureed carrots. You could use um, pump canned pumpkin. You could use sweet potato, applesauce maybe, um, although that might be a little sweet. Um, really any pureed veggie I think would work really nicely um, but this is just four ounces of pureed carrots that I'm going to conveniently be dumping in um, and then I'm going to be using a few liberal dashes of ginger I don't really measure out my spices FYI I just kind of eyeball it so um, a few liberal dashes of ginger um, liberal dashes of turmeric liberal dashes of chili powder for spice. Um, you all can titrate this to your taste profile. Um, honestly, that's sort of how I do it. And as I said, I'm pretty liberal with, with spice. And then this is an eighth of a cup of an equal add mixture of raw pumpkin seeds and raw sunflower seeds that are going to add a little bit of nice kind of chewiness in, um, to this recipe. So those are all the ingredients. All right, so first up, I'm just gonna fork mash up my beans here. I'll be sure and list all of these ingredients down below in the description box for you guys, but you can kind of just mash these to your textural liking. I like a few chunks of intact beanage in my burger so it has a little bit of substance to it, but if you um, don't like that, you can mash a little bit more. This is very therapeutic too, if you have uh, some unresolved anger. <laughs> Kinda looks like fudge. <laughs> Runaway bean. All right, so now in a bigger bowl, I'm just gonna add my carrots. I'm just adding my carrots here to a larger bowl. And I'm just gonna add my black beans in there as well. Leave no bean behind. And you can lick the bowl afterwards too. Now we're just gonna let everybody co-mingle and our fork's gonna be the facilitator of this uh, combined union here of bean and shredded carrot. And now that everybody's married together, we're gonna start introducing the dries with my oat flour here and my two tablespoons of flax. I get my flaxseed meal in bulk at Costco. And flaxseed meal will uh, kind of serve as a binder in this because its husk uh, nicely adheres to uh, some of the liquids and makes like a gel, sort of like an egg, but no salmonella. child would eat this, I don't know. And our two teaspoons of aminos. Eighth of a cup of mixed seeds. And continue to introduce everybody in the bowl. Pretty easy breezy. Smelling delicious as is. 
but um, you know if I should and this actually will shape up into patties or balls just as it is but if you put it into the oven that way um, and they're gonna come out too dry in my opinion so I'm gonna add my cheaty ingredient here the um, pureed baby food the the baby food carrots um, but you could you know probably add water or any kind of um, liquid at this point but I think by using the pureed carrots it um, gives a little bit more vibrancy to the um, recipe and a little bit more depth so that's what I'm gonna do do y'all remember that show on the Food Network um, semi homemade by Sandra Lee that's kind of what this is like she would use a few ingredients that were kind of cheater ingredients I have to be honest with you guys a real motivation for me purchasing this was not just the coupon, but how stinking cute is the jar? Comment below on what I should do uh, with these baby jars to repurpose them. But they have excellent DIY potential. <laughs> They're so cute. You can see it almost looks, it looks a lot like oatmeal cookie dough, but it's it's not. All right, so I just have a baking sheet here lined with aluminum foil that I have sprayed with uh, nonstick uh, cooking spray. Um, you could use parchment paper, you could use whatever you feel most comfortable with to, to bake these. And I like to grease my hands with a little nonstick so that uh, I don't have as much messy handage in it. Duels as a moisturizer. That's about the size of the balls that I'm going to be making today. But you could bake these into patties. You could put them in a loaf pan if you wanted, make a, a loaf out of them. You could put them in muffin cups and do the same. baked at 350 degrees for one hour and then taken off of the baking sheet and placed on a cooling rack and you can see they held up quite nicely. You can see the seedy flavorful goodness. Hungry? They're so good. So yeah, I have these throughout the week. You can kind of have them as a little snack, a few of them. I like to put them on top of zucchini noodles or brown rice and salad, make like a power bowl out of them. They're so versatile. Um, and you can use any bean in this that you want, as I said in the video. Um, they are really delicious. You could also use other seeds and nuts. Walnuts are really good in this. Hemp seeds are really good. Um, flax is already in this, but um, chia you can throw in. I mean, you can really get creative. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's totally fun to share recipes with you guys. And uh, you all ask me about uh, what it is that I'm eating. So I have been eating these lately and totally loving them. So I hope you make this. And if you do, comment below on what you think of it. And if you did any substitutions, how they worked out. Um, I'd love to hear about it. Um, so yeah, I am <laughs> smelling. I, I wish there was smell -a vision on YouTube because the ginger and uh, spice that comes off of this is so warming. Uh, it's such a warming smell. It's really nice with the seeds and the oats in there. Very good. I can't imagine who would not like this. I mean, they're so good. You can feed it to carnivores too. They don't need to know that it's vegan, you know, just trick them, just trick them. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.